How to choose the right bank account. This guide to choosing the right bank account is for you if you're trying to decide what type of account best fits your needs or you want to know which features of an account you should compare. It can also help if you're thinking of switching your bank account. Choose the type of account that suits your needs. Current accounts. Most people use a current account with a bank or building society to manage their day-to-day -day money. It allows you to pay bills by direct debit or standing order, receive automated payments such as salary, wages or benefits. Access to an overdraft, although this will need to be authorized by the bank, pay for things with a debit card and withdraw money from cash point machines. To help you manage your money you can, make use of the Secure Bank app, to check and make payments. Set up text alerts, to warn you of a low balance. If you're thinking about opening a packaged account, be sure to check out how many of the additional benefits you would actually use and whether you can get them cheaper elsewhere. Packaged accounts Some current accounts offer extra features for which they charge a fee, often between £10 and £15 a month. These are known as packaged accounts. Extras include, special offers, e.g. preferential interest rates on overdrafts. Car breakdown cover. Insurance cover, e.g. travel or mobile phone insurance. Extra services. Fee-free basic bank accounts. A fee-free basic bank account may be worth considering if you can't open a standard current account, possibly because your credit rating is low or because you've not got a credit history. Once you've had one for a while a bank may offer you a current account. A basic bank account doesn't have an overdraft facility but does allow you to pay bills by direct debit or standing order, receive payments such as salary, wages, or benefits. Jam Jar Accounts These accounts are sometimes called budgeting accounts or rent accounts and are designed to help you budget. They let you divide your money into different pots or jars. You decide how much money goes into each pot by working out how much you need for your bills and how much is left over for spending or saving. They also allow you to pay bills by direct debit or standing order. Receive payments such as salary, wages, or benefits. One disadvantage of these accounts is that they charge a monthly fee. You'll also often have to go through a credit union or housing association, but they may pay for the fees for you. A Jam Jar account might be right for you if, you want an account that helps you to budget. You want to avoid charges for refused direct debits. You rent a council or housing association property, in which case your landlord might pay the monthly fee for you. Bank accounts for students and graduates. Most banks offer a specific student account, usually with an interest-free overdraft up to an agreed amount. Banks often offer attractive accounts to graduates to try to secure them as long-term customers. Bank accounts for prisoners or people with convictions. If you're in prison or have a conviction, you may be able to get a basic bank account. Banks don't have access to criminal records, but they do have systems to detect applications from people who have a record of fraud or related illegal activities. All banks and building societies can reject applications from people who have a record of fraud. They can also reject you if you're an undischarged bankrupt, which is when you're still going through the process of becoming bankrupt. Find out more about banking if you're in prison or have a conviction on www.hub.unlock.org.uk slash comparing account charges and features. Fees, charges and overdraft costs. Fees can vary a lot between banks and between accounts, with one of the highest fees being charged for going over your agreed overdraft limit, if you have one. Did you know you could save hundreds of pounds with an account that better suits your needs? If you regularly spend more than you have in your account, choose one that will give you an overdraft up to an agreed limit without charging fees and, or with a low interest rate. Interest rates on credit balances if you're careful about your spending and never go overdrawn, have a look at the accounts that pay interest on your credit balance. However, if your earnings are on the low side and you do sometimes use your overdraft, don't pay too much attention to the credit interest, focus more on the charges instead. Comparing your accounts. Banks can also offer account dashboards, which let you see accounts from multiple banks and building societies side by side online. This lets you see the differences in things like charges, incentives, 
Many banks offer deals to attract new customers, but be sure to check if there are strings attached. Look beyond any short-term offer and make sure that, when it ends, the account will still be the best for you. Deals include, a cash incentive, higher interest for a period, a monthly credit of usually around £5, customer service you can use the www.witch.co.uk slash to find the banks with the best customer score. The rating takes into account things like service performance and dealing with complaints so you can find a bank that suits you. Decide how you want to deal with your bank. Do you like dealing with a person in a branch or would you prefer the convenience of telephone or internet banking? Not all banks will have a branch near you or let you have internet access to your account, for example. When you're looking for your account, check how the bank lets you access it and which ways are important for you. Telephone banking. Internet or mobile banking. Cashpoint machine near you that's free of charge to use. By post. Branch service, if you like going into a branch, choosing a bank you can easily get to will be the most important factor. Compare different accounts using comparison sites. Comparison websites are a good starting point for anyone trying to find a current account tailored to their needs. We recommend the following websites for comparing current accounts, www.money.gocompare.com, https colon slash slash moneyfacts.co.uk www.moneysavingexpert.com, www.witch.co.uk You can use the Witch Quality Rating to find the banks with the best customer score. In Northern Ireland, you can also try the www.consumercouncil.org.uk. Remember, comparison websites won't all give you the same results, so make sure you use more than one site before making a decision. It is also important to do some research into the type of product and features you need before making a purchase or changing supplier.